here, Scorpio. Welcome to your uh, end of July 2022 general tarot reading. That's Rena here. Oh, good. Nice. Okay. It's funny. Um, part of the matter is the the Hierophant. And I, I thought of the, the ladder to success, which this card isn't, doesn't have anything to do with that. But for some reason, because I got the King of Wands, that's how I was thinking. Uh, and so what I would say, because this card can be associated, I will say that in terms of career, sometimes I associate this card with a corporate type of a job where you are kind of putting yourself in a little box so that you can conform to that corporate uh, environment or culture. Cor is that what they call it? Cor corporate culture. And kind of avoiding your your individuality so you can fit into that and therefore not um, really be embodying what the, the spiritual part of yourself came here to do, which is to shine your unique light. And that doesn't mean working for yourself necessarily or defying an authority figure like the boss but what it means is that you are authentic you're being who you are you're not just con mindlessly conforming to something because you want the money because you want to climb that ladder of success in the past position we have the king of wands and it seems like this card might actually be connected to leo because there's a line in the background, definitely wands is fire energy, which is very connected to individuality, freedom. So in other words, autonomy, but also creativity and to um, career matters. It's funny, they even have like a little, um, I was wondering if that was a crown that's also doubling as the fire. So um, I always think of the King of Wands as this card of the, um, the person who has become self-actualized in their life, where they are um, really in control of so much of what they do. They're no longer um, dependent or at least they're not blaming other people they accept responsibility for their life and they're the captain of their own ship so this is something that may have this may be a contrast to the hierophant or an extension of the hierophant depending on your particular situation um, connected to it could mean that you have recently decided that you want to work for yourself instead of working in an environment that you have to conform to their standards and what they want. And so you have kind of made up your mind. Maybe you haven't gotten to the place where you're actually embodying that yet, but you've definitely seen why that is important to you. And for some people, this can be exactly what you've done, and the Hierophant, in your case, represents um, the spiritual connection to all of that, which I really think is so true. The person who, the people that I see their self-actualized, sometimes I wonder if they have a heightened intuition, because, you know, you hear about these people, and they will just quit their job at a moment's notice, and they, you know, they say, I only had $10 in the bank and I quit my job, but I, I just knew I couldn't do that any longer. And then this amazing thing happened and it fell, everything fell into place. Um, I don't think that those stories are lies or exaggerations necessarily. 
I think that some people really operate at a higher level where they realize that um, there's nothing to fear, that everything will work out. I'm sure that there are a lot of Scorpios. I'm not a Scorpio, I'm a Sag, but that there's a tendency to be a little bit cautious and not want to just um, risk it not working out and kind of pulling back a little bit. So if you're that type of person, I totally get it because I certainly have not gotten to the stage where I can just be like, oh yeah, I don't even care. Um, but I think that there's that it makes a lot of sense in a way because it's really like realizing that um, we came here to be our our own royalty. We didn't come here to be uh, a peasant. And I mean that in, in an energetic way. I don't mean what you're doing for a living or anything along those lines. I'm talking about the inner royalty, um, which is a form of confidence, I would say, that, that we are um, true to ourselves and to our vision. And when I look at the higher message or like kind of like whatever you've been going through recently, this card is the Ten of Swords. This is a card of betrayal. And I notice with the swords, when it's kind of the challenging cards, they have like black birds, which can indicate too, I would say, one's thoughts that are of a negative variety. Um, but anyway, the Ten of Swords is a card of betrayal, but it's also a card of the end of something like the worst has come to pass and now it can only get better from here. Um, with the Ten of Swords, you may realize that, um, like for instance, if you have to make a decision about choosing to go your own way versus conforming to somebody else's standards that you have been betrayed by that environment and maybe you know this consciously maybe you know that something specific happened that hurt your pride that felt like a betrayal but you stayed there anyway because you felt like um at least it pays the bills like you you convinced yourself that it wasn't so bad um, but if you are somebody who can't stand where you are and you just ha you feel like you just have to do something else, the Ten of Swords can be, this is the end of this season of feeling bad, like that you've already hit bottom and it's only up from here. That would be nice, wouldn't it? What Krauss has used the Ace of Cups so um, one of the things about Scorpios is a lot of people, I think a lot of Scorpios are know that they are very intuitive. And so that can be, but you also rule the house of other people's money. So money tends to be an issue too with Scorpio in one way or the other, especially when it pertains to how you share money, share resources with other people, like even within the family system, like inheritances and whatnot, there may be some specific examples where this has played an important um, role in your life for better or worse. And the Ace of Cups can be starting a new business, for instance, that is heart-centered. It can be starting a new relationship. The The Hierophant is connected to Taurus, which is your opposite sign. King of Wands could be like a Leo. Oh my goodness. Um, I wonder, <laughs> I wonder, you know, in terms of the, the Ten of Swords, which one betrayed you? <laughs> which one would be more likely to betray you, the Taurus or the Leo? Decisions, decisions, right? But it, it's like starting a new relationship may feel like it's the timing is 
wrong or starting a new um, spiritual practice or a, a new spiritual business. There might be something that is keeping you from doing it. Who knows? Maybe you have some unfinished business that you have to tend to before you can kind of go into that. And it's interesting. Here we have the justice card. So, oh, wow. Oh, you know what I didn't, I didn't mention is that the Hierophant could be about marriage. So what, and this can be about legal affairs, the justice card. So for those people, those Scorpio people, you had, you had a, um, a lunar eclipse in your sign back in May, your first house that meant the sun was in the seventh house. So I, I don't know. Um, if you're, if you're like, uh, thinking or in the midst of a divorce, but you feel like it goes against your religious beliefs, um, or the, can, um, traditional types of beliefs, like that you, your family hasn't had a divorce yet and you're the first one you have to be able to, uh, like the King of Wands, uh, I feel like that Scorpio energy is you really connecting to that empowerment at the highest level. And that means that you stop caring what other people think. That you don't allow other people's opinions of you to shape how you make your decisions. That's, that's your business. Um, and then we have here the outcome card, the Ten of Cups. This is great for uh, family harmony. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are planning on getting divorced and you stop it from happening. It could mean that, but it doesn't have to mean. It could mean that your children are happier if you have uh, children. Or that if you walk in the door, you don't have a horrible feeling in the pit of your stomach. That's ultimately what that card can mean. Um, is that you have this sense of whatever family means to you, whatever your home life means to you, that it's intact. That it's not torn in a thousand pieces. And that's very important. If you have fallen in love with a new person and that's why, you know, you're kind of torn between what you currently have and what you're, you may not be able to start a new relationship because there's just too much going on and you have to be okay with that because it probably is for the best. If you have legal matters, you know, if you have a divorce going on, if you are dealing with, if you have children that are going through something, you have to be able to um, take care of that. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.